In this video, I'm gonna show you the importance of campaign flow, the mapping tool that will help you deliver the creative idea. It will also aid the client and partner agencies to follow the many moving parts in the campaign. Furthermore, it will help you illustrate the role and importance of each creative execution. So you have a brilliant idea and an integrated campaign to match, but it is like a massive headwind trying to bring everyone along and making sense of it all. With an integrated idea, it can feel as though the moving parts of the campaign are completely spinning in opposite directions to one another. Coordinating it all might feel like a storm with the brand in the eye of it. Using this tool will help you to avoid battening down the hatches to weather out the storm of queries and confusion. This tool illustrates the flow of your campaign and acts as a crucial guide for anyone who is part of it. It is an aerial view of your campaign where everyone can see their role and where it fits into the bigger picture. In this video, I'm gonna show you a campaign ecosystem using an example from FIFA 18, More Than A Game, and how El Tornado created a whirlwind of excitement around many channels. What is the campaign ecosystem? The campaign ecosystem is your one page that illustrates the campaign flow and how all the creative executions seamlessly come together. It is your how-to illustration guide to the creative idea that plots and maps out all the key channels, stages, and creative executions of the campaign. It's the equivalent of being your own IKEA instruction manual for the campaign. The campaign ecosystem is both client and team facing in order to guide everyone through the journey and each media channel and the role it plays. Depending on the strategy, it can be brand or consumer focused. It can be linear or non-linear in its own approach. Again, these approaches are dependent on the strategy, phases and roles of each channel and desired outcome from them. The other important use for a campaign ecosystem is that it also serves to set up and sell in the creative idea and the various executions throughout the campaign. It helps to tell the story and then to guide the narrative of the campaign when presenting to clients. Let me show you an example with the FIFA 18 more than a game campaign, which is multiple executions taking place. I'll take you through three examples of a campaign ecosystem based on this campaign to the highlight why one is better than another. How does it work? 
When you have a campaign idea and finalized your customer journey and comps plan, you then map out the flow of the campaign to create a campaign ecosystem. You need to decide if it's going to be a brand led or customer led journey. You need to understand the role and task of each creative execution and which channels will either influence or support each other in the campaign stages, consumer touch points, or the end goal of the customer journey. This then helps you decide whether your campaign ecosystem is linear or non-linear, or maybe it's a hybrid of both. As mentioned earlier, I will show you three different versions of a campaign ecosystem from the same campaign and explain why one of these ecosystems is better than the others for the FIFA 18 more than a game campaign. None of these approaches are wrong, but one is better at truly showcasing the concept, strategy and comm strategy used. Example one, customer led. Example two, brand led. Example three, brand led. Let's start with a customer led approach, which is typically linear as it tends to be a path to purchase. In this example, we see the linear steps and phases, starting with the TV launch and support media to audience participation to campaign influences, and finally the end goal of purchasing the product. While this shows the logical steps, it doesn't accurately show when some of the other phases might come into play. For example, some of the phase four cultural media might have been executed in line with phase two audience participation phase, driving wider awareness with a direct to purchase on the merchandise page on the FIFA 18 site, as seen in phase five. But currently it appears that phase four only happens after phase two and three. Example two, the brand led ecosystem. Now let's look at a brand led approach, which is typically non-linear as it showcases the various campaign executions that lead to the goal. In this example, it's more free flowing and takes a top down approach and separates customer actions from cultural media actions. Both sides influence and drive audience to the FIFA site, but they still don't show the creative executions working independently. This example is closer to the campaign's comm strategy to illustrate its flow. But what we see is that each media execution appears to be reliant on the one that happens before it, rather than each media and creative execution being fully independent. In this example, we see an array of smaller independent creative ecosystems that influence potential customers. With each creative ecosystem being independent, this means that it can activate and run at any point during the length of the campaign. It's not reliant on other phases or parts of the overall campaign to push the audience through to the end goal. These independent ecosystems are now working together to drive new audiences from new areas to the FIFA website. After reviewing the advert and case studies, we see this ecosystem is more reflective of the brand and comm strategy. So let's recap. The campaign ecosystem is your how-to illustration guide of the creative idea that plots and maps out all the key channels stages and creative executions of the campaign. It showcases the role and task of each creative execution and which channels each influences or supports throughout the customer journey. It can be brand led or consumer led and the approach can be linear or non-linear or a hybrid. The campaign ecosystem is one of the many tools within the comms planning module in the strategy finishing school. In the campaign ecosystem lesson, I take you through the six key steps on how to approach the campaign ecosystem, which consumer journey will influence your choice in the campaign ecosystem, understanding which campaign ecosystems flow with the support of your strategy, and how to use various assets to highlight important information in your campaign ecosystem. Also tips for briefing your team and agency partners, as well as tips for selling and supporting your idea with clients. And finally, access to the Framework Factory, your framework playbook with over 50 ready-made frameworks to save you time, articulate your ideas and win more work. Thank you to Matthew Osborne, a member of the Strategy Finishing School for helping to put together this case study. Let me know if you've got any questions or if you've got a recommendation for a brand that we should showcase next.